Hello everyone, welcome. We're going to be talking about dark circles. This is I think my third video on dark circles and so this video is going to be a little different from the previous two. I'm going to leave the link for the other two in my description box, please do have a look. This video is different because this is a result of the eight month old project that we did. This project was centered around uh, studying ingredients, what works, what doesn't work and also busting some myths. So this video is not going to be very detailed in what causes dark circles for that it's just better to go to the videos listed in the description box and also some of the products that I've already discussed about um, for dark circles I'm going to leave the link in the description box. This video is going to be more about some of the smarter ways that we've discovered which actually work or might help you better in handling your dark circles. What are dark circles? I mean, we as Indians know dark circles very, very well. We are more prone, we just do have dark circles. I even have some of my clients who are really fair and uh, but their eye area will be a darker shade of brown and that looks like they have tired eyes and they are fatigued and it gives you the look of having deep dark circles. So considering that we are born with dark circles or more prone to dark circles uh, due to our hereditary and the, you know, and the way our lifestyle is, lifestyle, yes, our lifestyle can contribute to dark circles. Some of the very simpler ways that it can cause uh, dark circles is because we don't wear glasses very often when we go out, we put sunscreen everywhere but have no protection for our eyes and this area is so thin that it tends to get damaged very, very quickly. So UV radiation, the problem is we can't go very deep in with the sunscreen into the eye area and we don't even wear dark glasses so often. That really causes immense damage to the eye area. That's one. Two, we culturally don't think twice about getting into the eye and rubbing the daylights out of it. This rubbing and irritation around the eye is can also contribute to darkness around the eyes because it really does inflame and irritate the area. Keep in mind that the eye area itself is so thin to begin with, so every extra pressure and inflammation and irritation in that can make the uh, area even more irritated and inflamed far more easily than our rest of the skin or even the face does. So one needs to be careful about it 365 days of the year. What else causes dark circles? PCOD, PCOS, it gives you pigmentation on your elbows, fingers and eyes as well as sometimes around the mouth but certainly around the eyes. In health conditions, even anemia can give you dark circles. I have anemia, I know. I also have PCOD. All these conditions are discussed in far more details in the videos linked below. So please do have a look if you haven't already. Let's move on to what really works for dark circles. Look at it as a two dimension problem. The first thing we are tackling is the fact that the skin is far more thinner and more delicate. So we need ingredients that will increase hydration there, will increase suppleness over there. So we are looking at humectants, we are looking at um, hyaluronic acid and we are looking at emollients. The second issue is the pigmentation. So we are going to be looking at ingredients that can actually go and affect pigmentation. With all of that, let's get into details and quickly list the ingredients that you should be looking for in your eye creams. Let's first list the emollients that are going to help us in our dark circles. You could look at vitamin E, you could look at allantoin, you could look at almond oil, you could look at some butters. Next, look for pigmentation inhibitors. We know alpha butin. If you haven't seen my video on alpha butin, please do have a look here. Hopefully, it's going to be listed there. I always forget. But look at alpha butin. Also, look at vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for not only building collagen, which depletes even faster in the eye area, but also the fact that it brightens up your area as well. It also scavenges free radicals or eats up free radicals. Free radicals again deplete collagen. So we want vit vitamin C in the eye area. Next is niacinamide. Niacinamide helps build the eye area very well because it really works on skin by building up ceramides, improving elasticity and niacinamide also works on the melanocytes or on let's say also works on pigmentation. Licorice. Licorice as we know is great for working with pigmentation and licorice is famed in Indian Ayurveda. So it's one of those ingredients which really really works and demonstrates results very very fast and efficiently. So we're going to be looking for licorice as well. And then, of course, there's the king of all, the vitamin A. There's definitely vitamin A that's needed for working on the pigmentation. Here is a quick list of ingredients that you should be looking for when you're looking at eye area creams or gels. Now that we have the ingredient list listed with us, what are we going to do with it? 
I'm going to be sharing what I've been doing for the last seven, eight months, and I've seen some very good results. I'm sorry, there's construction going near my house and they're going to go on for a year and a half. I can't not shoot videos for a year and a half. And whatever time I choose, there always is work going on, unless it's late in the evening or night, by which time my cell can't do justice because I'm still shooting off my phone. So please bear with me. I'm really, really sorry about this. Um, so yeah, so we're looking, yeah, so we, I'm looking at products that, um, so I'm going to be sharing products that I've been using. I'm going to be listing all the star ingredients in each of these products. The first eye cream I'm talking about is the cream from Just Herbs. It's packed with some really fantastic natural ingredients. The star ingredients in this are cetyl olivate, cold pressed avocado oil, vegetable glycerine, glycerine we all love, and octi Dodecanol. This is a fantastic emulsifier. It's got long chain fatty acids, so it really helps with lubricating and making the area supple. I really like this cream because of its slip. It's just beautiful in the way it goes onto your eye area. Now, when you use creams on your eye area, you want them to have a lot of slip and smoothness because it shouldn't have to be um, needed to rub this into your eye area because that rubbing is only going to damage the area for, for further. A lot more. Sometimes even I don't know what I'm talking. I just keep going on like a train. So that's that cream. Now keep in mind that we listed those star ingredients in this particular product. But this is not all the ingredients that we require. We also require some products which have got a little more of what we want. The product in question over then is the eye repair gel from Detoxy. I love this eye gel. And you know I love it because even though the pump is not working, I'm still continuing to use it. I just have to be very careful when I'm using it so that I'm not contaminating the product again. But it's like a clear gel and again goes in very, very beautifully. And this product shows you some very good results right in the first one or two weeks. And the reason why it does that is because it has got a fantastic lineup of products. It's got licorice. Licorice is the famed product for reducing pigmentation. It's famed in Ayurveda for doing that. It also has lactic peel or lactic acid. Lactic acid goes right to work at the pigmentation and makes your eye area lighter in a very short time. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say that you're going to go from like dark to completely fair. It doesn't quite work like that. No product works like that, especially for dark area, for dark circles. But you can definitely see some results early on, which typically doesn't happen a lot with uh, creams which are meant for dark circles. Along with that, it also has niacinamide and sodium hydroxide, so massive hydration. And it has allantoin. Allantoin, as we know, is a soothing ingredient, so it stops irritation. So this kind of product will actually work very well if your eyes tend to itch a lot and uh, because it really does soothe the eye area dramatically. Then there is the eye cream from Vilva. The only thing with this cream is that it's a little uh, hard so you need to really go in and rub but boy does it have ingredients packed in it. It has got rosehip oil. Rosehip oil as we know works beautifully for pigmentation. It also has almond oil, it's got um, carrot seed oil, it's got glycerine. So these products cover the spectrum of having natural ingredients in your skincare or uh, in your eye care area, which is really good because the area is very sensitive. And it also covers um, lactic acid, which is fantastic, which comes in detoxy. However, with all of these ingredients, you also require the big guns of science because there's some new fantastic emerging ingredients which can really help with pigmentation. One of these products is the product called the Requil. This has got apart from other great ingredients and I have a very detailed video on it. It's going to be listed in the description box below. Please do have a look. In this particular video, I'm only going to be discussing the fantastic ingredient that it has called Lumiskin. Lumiskin has been created specifically to act on pigmentation and this particular product is packed with it. Again, the slip in this product is really, really nice. I love the way that it just goes in very, very smoothly. And it's got very light fragrance or no fragrance at all, actually. Uh, whereas uh, the Wilva has a lot of essential oily kind of a fragrance and uh, the Just Herbs nothing the detoxy very mild again 
but fragrances is a whole different thing and we have a video coming on it for you stay tuned for it uh, you're going to like it so what do we do with all these products where am i going with this so here's what i've discovered i've had the most stubborn dark circles because i have anemia i have pcod and when i was in bangalore a few years back i used to have like the worst allergies bangalore is known for its allergies and i had them really really bad as to take um uh, an anti-allergy, an antihistamine a tablet called, uh, what is it called? Oh, I can't even believe I've forgotten its name. I used to take them almost thrice a day. So I was literally lived my life through Bangalore in a stupor and there should be massive irritation around the eye. So my eye areas are really, really dark there. As you can see here, it's not so bad now. I do have a little bit of um, concealer on, but very, very little. But if you were to ask me, honestly, it's gone down almost by around 60%. And I'm not even sure if it's going to go back to this 40%, but I still continue to use all these products. So here is what I realized. Because I want the goodness of all those ingredients that we listed earlier. So now I have three eye creams that I would use in rotation for my dark circles. And guys, it really works because now I'm getting all the ingredients that I want. And luckily for me, because these formulations are so well done, the ingredients are so beautifully done, I've not had any of the products interact with each other or had a reaction. But of course, please follow um, the protocol that I suggest to all my customers when you're introducing a new product. When you're using a new product, introduce it one by one. See the product for three to four days. If there's no irritation, then add the other one. Check it again for three to four days and then add the other one and so on and so forth. So here is a schedule that works for me so beautifully. What I do is Monday, Tuesday, I go in with Detoxy, the lactic acid peel. After that, for Wednesday, Thursday, I use Just Herbs. The reason we use Just Herbs is because it's got glycerin, it's got that octi which is a fantastic emollient and you want that in your eye care. And along with that, then I use Lumi Skin from Friday right up to Sunday. So I'm getting Lumi Skin for majority of the week. And the reason I'm banking more on Lumi Skin is because I know it is scientifically proven to really work on the pigmentation. The Wilbur product I have not used so much. Uh, the only reason I've not used it so much is because one, it doesn't have enough slip and also because I'm not very comfortable with the fragrance. With that covered, I also wanted to touch upon DIYs for eye area. I know they're very, very popular and there are a lot of them. There's cucumber, there's green tea uh, bags, then there is uh, even potato juice and uh, a whole lot of things, right? However, does it work for eye area darkness? Sidi si baat hai. Agar wo kaam karta, to me, who understands skin, who understands beauty, wouldn't have wasted money on all these products. I would have got my dark circles out at least 20 years back or okay 10 years back or at least five years back or maybe three years back folks it's good to feel good using DII for a particular eye area but when you have pigmentation especially the kind of pigmentation we develop in your in the eye area you know it goes down to the deeper layers of the skin the potato juices and the cucumber and the green tea bags don't really get down to work on the pigmentation because they are not empowered enough. They don't have the force. They don't have the power to do it. They don't have the qualities to do it either. So they may, might work very well on top of the surface of your skin by probably bleaching it or invigorating the area by increasing the blood flow, but they can't penetrate to the subdermal levels and actually act on the tyrosinase or the melanocytes to stop the pigmentation. So should you do DIY? By all means you should, but keep it as a once a month treatment or keep it as maybe twice a month treatment and do it because you want to pamper yourself. And in any case, they don't want to cause any damage to your eye area. So whatever little advantage you can get out of them, you must do it. However, when you're looking for real results and you're tired of your, you know, the darkness around your eye area, then you got to use products, the real products, the products which are backing of science that are really going to work. The DIYs that I know have changed some people's pigmentation, just a little percentage is if they used a raw milk because raw milk again has lactic acid and also a little bit of lemon juice diluted in the packs that they use, especially the matcha tea packs. However, the percentage of improvement in darkness is way too less. It doesn't really work in completely removing the pigmentation. If it has for you, please do share it with me and let me know. 
Those kind of treatments like using almond oil through the night are really, really good in hydrating and making the eye area supple and moisturizing the eye area. So that is something you should do maybe every night if you're not using these products. It will definitely keep your eye area well uh, lubricated and prevent fine lines from happening. But if you have dark circles, it's not going to dramatically improve the dark circles. The thing with using almond oil is it improves blood circulation. So there's definitely some kind of relief you get from the pigmentation, but it doesn't completely remove the pigmentation because it's not able to go down below your subdermal level of the skin and act on the tyrosinase and the melanocytes. Where do we go from here? I would think a good practice is to combine science and some great ingredients and great products with a little bit of DIY. Because DIY are good pampering treatments that we should do. And also, I'm sure with all the great ingredients that we put in over there, they're definitely not going to harm the area in any way. However, balancing that with products that really work is what's going to give you the best results. Let me know if you know of any DIY which has been absolutely fantastic and has actually removed your dark circles because I could do with some help. My dark circles are still a long way off where I can go completely without uh, concealer, but it's a work in progress and I don't mind it. Keep in mind that I've had really bad melasma and today I'm at a point where I don't wear any makeup. I really don't. I keep doing this on my videos. I don't wear any makeup at all. I don't need to because the alpha butin, the pigmentation routines that I've followed have really helped me. So if I knew something that worked for my dark circles, I'm sure I would have used it and shared it back with you. But I haven't found it yet. Till I catch you next time, be good to your skin and hair and let me know how this video went for you. It's good to have feedback so that we can improve and maybe bring you what you really want. And also let me know how the series is doing for you because these are long information based videos and can get very boring. Catch you soon.